Bemidian Brown Room. How about that? That's really, what an honor. <laughs> it's not every day that you get a beetle named after you, Absolutely. right? Absolutely. You know, I was just looking to see if there's any resemblance. I didn't see a big resemblance. You know, oh, sometimes no, no, like, no. you would think there would be, but. No, we're not saying that. No, no, no. But, you know, people and their pets or people and their beetles, you know, that are named after them. Sometimes they look alike, but no, I didn't see any. No, I'm not in that if. No, 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 not at all. <laughs> but really cool. I love that. And their dogs and, oh, so cool. All right, let's get right to the mild forecast. I enjoyed it. Did you enjoy it? I did. You did, Pat, right? Yeah. Mike, did you enjoy it? Mike Parrott? Yes, he says yes. All right, cool. I'm just trying to get trying to get a vote here. I think everybody enjoyed it for the most part. Can't speak for everybody, but we saw 60s and 70s and plenty of sunshine, and we kind of need that chance to dry out before we get that next chance of rain in our forecast. And, yes, that next chance is heading our way. Satellite radar, you will see a few showers. Dry conditions heading our way, kind of a mix of both. Right now, dry. Showers heading our way, and then we're kind of going to get this sort of back and forth of rain, dry, rain, dry, and you'll see that right here in our future cast. As we stop the clock tomorrow, mostly a dry day through the morning, afternoon, and the evening. It's not until after midnight where we start to see a few showers and nothing heavy at all. Remember, this isn't going to be a big rainmaker. It will be cold. This is a storm system that's jump, actually well, jumping or traveling from the Gulf of Alaska. So it will bring with it snow, maybe a chance of thunderstorms, hail, gusty winds and a little bit of rain as well. So by 8.30 in the morning on Wednesday, looks to be a wet commute. Then we'll start to see some heavier spots Wednesday afternoon, but everything passing through quickly. By Wednesday, 1 o'clock or so, it's mostly dry, just a little cool by 6.30 as well. And then by 3.15, we are expecting rain and a little bit of snow in the mix as well. So you'll see that chance of rain looking pretty widespread. Pretty much everybody in for the chance on Wednesday. Pretty much dry for tomorrow. And then that chance holds Thursday. By Friday and Saturday, we are looking at drier conditions. Our next storm is looking like this. Light to moderate rain overnight into Wednesday morning. Second wave with us, an unstable air mass Wednesday evening to Thursday. So that could mean some thunderstorms and mountain snow is possible at pass level Wednesday night into to our Thursday morning. And as we get a look at our temperatures in the afternoon tomorrow, it's still going to be mild. We could even squeeze out some 70s, but by the time we head into the next couple of days, a big drop in temperatures, especially Wednesday and Thursday, drier by Friday into the weekend. Time to check in now with sports and our Jim Hill. CBS 2 is now CBS Los Angeles. Sharing mornings with you is good for the soul. You know what we're talking about. Fresh. Hey, it's our job. Enlightening. To highlight the culture and identity. Unexpected. Winner! KCAL News Mornings, weekdays 4 to 11. Well, if anybody's out there listening. CBS News Los Angeles, your local news, streaming wherever, whenever.